Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by the title, I am doing a book recommendation video. Now, I don't remember if I really did a recommendation video before. I think I have actually. Yeah, I think I have. But I am back with another one or whatever. And yeah, so today we are going to be doing some YA book recs. And I tried to choose books that even if you have heard of some of these books, this is a reminder, babes, go read it. Go read it. It's good. I'm recommending it, babes. It's good enough for you to read. So I'm just going to hop right into the video. The first book I'm recommending is Dark Inside, which y'all, if y'all have been on my channel for a little bit, you know how I feel about this book. And it doesn't have enough hype. And like, it doesn't have enough hype. Go read it. It's a trilogy. This is Dark Inside. The book is like, we've had it for a while, babes. We've had it for a while. Go read this. It's um, apocalyptic, but it's not like the apocalyptic you think. It's really about like an earthquake happens and then like almost like majority of the population has gone absolutely insane and like the only thing they want to do is kill people and it's about these four teenagers and their journeys separate and then their journeys together and it's just really good y'all need to go read this the next book i am recommending is blackout which this is mainly for the blacks okay this is mainly for the coloreds um this book has all black characters and one of the characters is is he from guatemala something like that he's hispanic so this is for my blacks and hispanics you know go read this book um it's based in new york uh, oh my god I'm, my hands are like messing up the cover because of hair product on my hands still so uh, let me just put the book down but it's about a blackout that happens in New York and it's a bunch of love stories. And so, yeah, if you want like a cute, quick teen love stories, different, it's an anthology, okay? So it was like based on different people that's all mutually related. So, yeah. Don't mind my hair, y'all. I'm having a bad hair day, but we're just gonna go to the next book. The next book I'm recommending is Room Service, which I know y'all, I only gave it three stars, but if you like want something really quick and simple that like doesn't fry your brain, then read this. It literally is like a good past the time read. If you're like in middle school, you can read this, honestly. If you're in middle school, you can read this book because I felt like the writing was a bit immature, but if like i said if you want something to just pass the time real quick mystery you know read this the next book i am recommending which i really enjoyed was every last word um it's about this girl with ocd and like her just trying to like navigate and stuff and it's so good and like she finds the secret poetry club it's just it's good okay it's a good read um very easy quick it's good the next book I am recommending, we all know and love, maybe love, some people might not have enjoyed it, but I would find it hard to believe that somebody actually didn't enjoy the book, but I don't know. Um, if you haven't read this book, this is simply a reminder to go read it, and that is The Inheritance Games. This book is so good. I finished it so fast, it makes no sense. And like the chapters are really short. Like this book is really short, even though it looks like it may look deceiving, it's really short because the chapters are like so short. But yeah, Ooh. yeah, it's literally like, it's a mystery book. So if you're into mystery and knives out, that type of stuff, read it. Y'all, this video is literally so short. I'm sorry, but you know, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. The next book I am recommending is Lore. This book, I, this book <laughs> is so good. It is so good. 
This is a fantasy book based off of Greek mythology and it's based in New York so it's low fantasy so you don't have to really rack your brain and it has maps in here. There's the map on the front also has a um, identical map on the back of the book so like I didn't know that at first so I didn't realize that when I got towards the end of the book instead of having to flip all the way to the front I could have just opened the back and looked at the map. But anyways, this book is so good. It is a fantasy standalone. Y'all, this book is so good. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And the chapters aren't really long either. So, yeah, but... <laughs> I'm not gonna say any more than that about the book. But this book was really enjoyable. Standalone fantasy, which I know some people may think that a good fantasy book shouldn't really be a standalone. Like some people think fantasy books are should be more prone to being a series, but this wraps up really nicely. And I suggest it for you to read. That is all my YA book recs for this video. I tried to choose things that people didn't really talk about. I mean, except of course the inheritance games, but you know, I don't want to recommend books that we literally all have heard about a thousand times and then again more. So I try to choose things that aren't as talked about or at least that I see aren't as talked about. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am really hot right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.